Good day all. Uh, some more lounge snacks or connects. I don't know. I, I've just got. I got told off actually for not pronouncing it properly. So <laughs> these guys. Uh, I was going to save these until I made some more tufts, but I've just come off the back of a seven-day stretch from my slave drivers at work. Um, I don't know when I'm going to get the time to actually make some tufts. So I thought I'd show you these. These are the crossbowmen. If I was going to expand on this army, I would think I would need more shooty troops because I've only got eight bases. Four of crossbowmen like this and four of handgunners, which I'll show you in a second. So yeah, I'm going to put some more tufts and stuff on them. Last one. I decided to go with three to a base uh, for the simple reason that I could have an extra stand if I did it that way. So, handgunners. Uh, they are the same set. You either get, you can either put crossbow arms on them or you can put uh, handguns, aquabus on them. So I went with it. A, a bit of a split just for the sake of it so that's another one should be a relatively short video today oh one second in the background you will see the um, black band which are nearly finished now I've just got 12 guys left to do uh, just the white on them and then I've got to do the hair everybody uh, but I always leave the hair to last because I now like to split them up and do like six different colors of hair right let me do a quick flyby for you so you'll have to excuse shaky hand while I do this uh, I, I did these with the you know the batch painting method again uh, I think it worked out quite well. And I painted all 24 at the same time. Put a few more stripes on these guys. Because they do love a stripe or two. So, that is the shooty part of the army so far. And I just said in the last video I was going to repaint... My Caesar, my Kenneth Williams, infamy, infamy, they've all got it infamy. So I give him a purple stripe. Uh, I asked uh, James at JVC Paints for I should go red or purple. And I think we both agreed purple is the future uh, for, for his dominance over the Senate. Uh, I've just put him on like a, a stony sandy sandstone base uh, like he's in Egypt or something from Carry On Cleo uh, yeah I thought it looked quite cool um, and also if I ever did decide to do <laughs> a Roman army a Caesarean Roman army in 28 mil then that's the kind of colour base that I'd want to go for anyway so well as normal put stills on at the end. Uh, so the black band are nearly there now. Uh, and when I do a video on the black band, I'll I'll tell you all my thoughts on the contrast paints, etc. What I think of them. Um, whether I think they've got a place. I mean it's only my opinion. Everyone else will have their own opinion. Uh, but yeah, when I finish them, I will do a video uh, uh, and explain what I think about them. I probably won't. I'll base them, but I won't get the tufts on because I say I don't know when I'm going to get the time to do that just yet. Uh, the other thing, one, one last thing, I'm waffling on now, sorry about that. Uh, this base, the command base. So I'm either thinking uh, I'm going to put a guy maybe in there somewhere, but it's going to be a bit tricky to get him in uh, with a banner, or 
because I've got them farmyard animals, I thought I might do like some geese or some swans or some ducks or chickens or something or a pig or anything just to fill up that gap a little bit because um, there aren't going to be loads of banners in all the regiments anyway so we're not going to be short of flags because I'm putting three flags in every regiment uh, so there will be loads of flags and colour but yeah I'll maybe put some animals on there anyway let me know what you think stills at the end thank you very much for watching uh, watching all your stuff um, and I will catch you in the next one. Bye for now.